Welcome everyone uh, for another uh, tutorial of uh, uh, from James Logistics. This is Marian, and uh, now I will uh, show you how to set up your uh, Steam Start Launch options. As you know, in default Steam, and I'll show you exactly the difference between uh, st uh, the game started with uh, st uh, with. Uh, this launch uh, options and without it. So we go first to American Truck Simulator and we do it without it. So we can see exactly how it looks like. So we delete what we have already set up. So now it's all done. And now let's launch the game. Uh, so in the beginning, launching the game, you will see a bit uh, of a difference uh, and uh, will notice uh, you'll notice straight away when we're gonna put up the start launcher first of all we're gonna have the intro uh, video as you can see it now we're gonna have this intro video of the game obviously i don't have the sounds put on because honestly i don't really like it so here you go so we got everything here that SCS put in default before you start the, the game. And of course, this is a SDK feature, so that's it, right? So that's the game with the start, without the start launch uh, options. Now, how to set it up on your game? It's just simple, once it's gonna be stuck here. You open the GMC uh, website and uh, here you're going to you will have uh, so how you can get to this page on any combo of the game uh, for the game so either uh, either ETS2 or either ATS you'll have uh, you'll have the uh the preset up information so let's go in north america you got the preset up information you go in ets2 you got ultimate combo in this case you got the preset up information so we go click on this link on the each combo we have this link available for everyone besides having the notes of uh, the of the of the of the combos uh, the layout of the the layout of the panels uh, of the mode we got the buffer size and of course this what is we looking for so we have start launch steam startup launch options for uh, use for, for pcs with 8 gig of ram 16 gig of ram and 32 gig of ram how to set it up i'm gonna show you in a second the explanation of these terms you have it all of them here so you know exactly uh, which one is doing what now because i got 32 gig of ram i copy the line copy i go to steam right click on the game properties and you got this line here on the general you got this line here so, and what you do is paste and you got the line set it up the same thing you do it for ATS so let's see on the ATS without without the steam launch options and let's hit play <clears throat> let's hit play and you'll see it uh, you'll see the difference uh, like we saw it in uh, just a few minutes before with uh, ETS2. So we got the intro video of the game with ACS software, American Truck Simulator, and of course the seizure uh, warnings because of the flashbangs and all other things uh, vi visually, uh, flashing lights or uh, other things with so normal uh, warning, and of course the SDK which is comes normal. Now, that's the game for both of the situation without the steam launch options now let's see with the steam launch options 
uh, and uh, <clears throat> let's set up for ATS as well. So in this box here, the same thing, copy and paste the, the line from the website. The website link is going to be on the video description, so we can relate it there directly. Now let's start the game. So we, we saw it before without. Now with the start uh, start uh, launch options. So let's see the difference. There you go. No intro video, and everything is set up to run without a problem. So let's quit here and let's do the same thing in ETS. And that's the way you do the let's stop this one because you can run to the games on a steam and let's do the ets2 the same thing we done the steam launch uh, launch options we set it up and now we're going to have just the sdk feature detected that's it that's basically you need to do it nothing major I will uh, see you on the next one.